Hello guys, this is going to be a short little video. I just wanted to make this mostly for my own benefit. And I'm on my new computer and I wanted to, you know, test the recording and uh, volume and everything. So, uh, Basically, I had to reinstall everything. If you weren't aware, I upgraded my hard drive, video card, and some other stuff. Uh, through the process of reinstalling NASCAR Racing 2003, I ran into an issue and like I said, I wanted to record this video just for my own personal benefit in the future if I ever have to go through it again. Um, I had installed Windows 7, uh, ran all the patches in the correct order, uh, launched the game, the game would, uh, you know, the window would pop up, and I was running it in windowed mode, obviously. I've got three screens, so for recording I just, you know, have it in a single screen uh, window mode window would pop up it would be black like it was getting ready to play the intro video and uh... windows would launch an error saying that the program would stop responding or something like that and it was searching for a solution and then it would say solution not found and then everything would just disappear before you could even click anything so i wanted to show you on the video here what my issue was it may not necessarily be your issue what i recommend doing is this is the papyrus folder or the NASCAR 2003 season folder. Uh, disable your DEP, and I don't have the command prompt, uh, what you type into the command prompt to do that, to permanently disable it, but if you do a quick Google search for Windows 7, disable um, DEP, you'll see a command prompt uh, command that you can type in, and that will disable that. Do that before you install the game. Uh, I think that might have been the issue for me, but I'm not sure. Uh, the issue for me ended up being that it was just a stroke of luck that I was comparing file sizes. Uh, my app.ini ended up being empty. Um, I think the only thing it had in it was the graphics options right here, this section right here. That was the only thing there. However, all of this information was set to zero, including the width, the height, uh, bits per pixel, everything except the Ren DXG. Uh, dot DLL was set to zero and there was nothing else in here so I don't know if it was a problem with the Pappy config or I, I don't know um, I can change my screen resolution now using the Pappy config tool and everything works fine uh, my solution ended up being just copying that dot INI from another backup that I had you know I back up the entire papyrus folder on an external hard drive before I did the wipeout uh, so it's a good idea if you're, you know, you have a working copy of the game, make a copy of everything in there, the core.ini, the app.ini, your player folder, all that kind of stuff, just in case something like that happens. Um, I know I see all the time people talk about uh, errors and stuff on Windows 7, so I just wanted to pass that along, something that I found out for, you know, uh, something that happened to me. But I uh, just wanted to get that in the video there. Hopefully that helps somebody. Um, like I said, install the... Or disable DEP, disable user account control. Um, there's plenty of videos out there. You can find information on how to do all that. Then install your game. Then install your patches. And make sure that your file sizes match your backups. If they don't, copy them over. Um, you know, just be careful. Make sure you know exactly what you're doing when you do that. But... The app.ini fixed it for me, so. Um, yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in this video, so thanks for watching.